Our team coverage continues here in Mobile. Trees are down all over the city, causing more power outages and damage. Let's go now to NBC 15's Justin Moore. Justin. Yeah, I'm in this West, uh, West Mobile neighborhood where you see tree crews are behind me trying to get this large tree moved off of the street here. Now, power outages seem to be the biggest concern for people in Mobile, although there are some people who are, who are dealing with damage left behind by Sally. We need power. Deborah Moore says she's going into her third night without power. She lives in South Haven Apartments on DIP, apartments for seniors and tenants with disabilities. She worries if the power isn't restored soon, tenants could die. It's that every tenant out here has some type of health problem. Some tenants need power for their oxygen machine or mobile chairs. Moore says being in the dark has been a struggle for her since having knee surgery last week. I done bumped it. You know, because you can't see. Power outages has been a big concern for people across Mobile County. We spotted power crews working on Old Shell Road near Wilmer Hall earlier today. I think we should be in top priority. Mm -hmm. I really think that we should be in top. Further north in Mobile County, Carlos Cowens is counting his blessings after a tree took out his Pritchard home. You can see two boys like to hit me in the head. This house has been in his family for generations. Man, this is the foundation. Like this is my great this is my grandma's house. Now, talking to people over the last two days, uh, the biggest concern seems to be uh, the power outages. Uh, we saw crews throughout the city working on power, even crews from Mississippi working as well. Live in Westmobile, Justin Moore, NBC 15 News.